an astonishing discovery. A human stepped on a mammoth footprint thousands of years ago, and those tracks still exist today. Science Alert David Neal reports, it's on the White Sands National Monument in Mexico, in New Mexico. They're ghost tracks of long dead mammoths. Researchers now using special type of scanning revealed other footprints as well. And they belong to ancient humans walking de deliberately inside mammoth tracks. Fascinating glimpse. What happened what was taking place about 12,000 years ago at the end of the Pleistocene era is made possible by the use of ground penetrating radar GPR scans. They're able to look underneath the surface of the ground to reveal what's hidden there, hidden contours underneath. It's a new technology used to check for cracks in railway lines, for example. It's used in geology and archaeology, and it has not been deployed in this way using. Uh, this technique to find fossils, but they're using it and they have found fossilized footprints. It promises to give scientists access to various other areas where they, they, they will hopefully find tracks and prints that are not visible to the naked eye. They can tell us more about just who or what walked where. A footprint can reveal the size and the gait of the animals the way humans and megafauna interacted with each other, and give us more detail about life in the last ice age. We never thought to look under footprints. This is what Thomas Urban, research scientist from Cornell University, says, and he explains, it turns out that the sediment itself has a memory that records the effects of the animal's weight and momentum in a beautiful way. It gives us a way to understand the biomechanics of extinct fauna and we never that we never had before. Part of the wonderful technology of this GPR is that it can scan below the surface without the need for excavation. The equipment just needs to be dragged across the ground and it makes measurements. It's equivalent of getting long extinct animals into the lab to step onto a pressure plate. That's what it's basically doing without uh, digging up anything. And records like this are exceedingly rare making these findings even more exciting. Among the tracks discovered are 800 meters, that's 2,625 feet, of human footprints crossed with prints from a large proboscidean, maybe a Colombian mammoth. It looks as though the mammoths were stalked for food or fur. We've already covered that in the past couple of days. We had an article on the fact that, yes, they found in Russia frozen mammoth uh, sections. They were dissect they were cut up in pieces because the humans at that time, the last ice age, were hunting for mammoths and they were using them as food. So yes, the humans were hunting mammoth, just as uh, we, they have found here. Now the findings match up with analysis carried out last year by the same team of researchers, but with much more detail this time. In this case. Detail and depth has been revealed, and they've got more clues about the underlying sediment, and it can reveal how the ancient creatures were walking. Creatures, we're talking about ancient humans. But uh, there are bigger implications than just, as, uh, uh, just this case study. There are bigger implications than just this case. The technique could possibly apply to many other fossilized footprint sites around the world, including those of dinosaurs. The researcher says we have already successfully tested the method more broadly at multiple locations within White Sands, New Mexico. With the GPR technology, the scientists don't have to wait for the perfect conditions to be able to spot and analyze footprints, something that's particularly useful in shifting landscapes such as White Sands, but it can be invaluable in other areas as well. While campsites and kill, uh, kill sites offer up a lot of useful information for paleontologists. Knowing what humans and other animals did outside of these areas is difficult to figure out. That's why studying with these techniques is just one more useful help. The mammoths and the giant sloths that once used to, they lived about 8,000 years ago, just before the last ice age. 
They roam this part of the world and are not coming back, but the footprints they left behind can help us piece together the details of how they moved, where they were, and how humans followed them. Even though they say we may never find the fossilized remains of the animal that made these tracks, we know how it moved, how large it was, how fast it was going, and what it was associated with just by looking at the tracks. This is what Lisa Buckley, paleontologist who was involved with the study, says. She says one animal will only ever leave one skeleton, but it has the potential to leave countless tracks in its lifetime. This research was published in Scientific Reports, and it's on Science Alert. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece and Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.